friends so we are starting a very important discussion of INICT questions and only three questions from forensic medicine the least I have ever seen two were from toxicology one was from blast injury okay so all questions are recall best now as you can see First of all, identify this and this is used as an antidote of which poison? He is asking just a very simple question. It is a blue vitriol. It is a blue vitriol. That's a copper sulphate. Blue vitriol is also known as copper sulphate. So very simple question. Copper sulphate is an antidote in which poison? The first option is mercury, then aluminium sulphide, then arsenic, then phosphorus. Without any doubt, it's a phosphorus poison. Okay. So, you can see the treatment of copper sulphate poisoning. And uh, you can see the gastric lavage is done. And the antidote is copper sulphate for phosphorus. And as you can see, my dear friend, the antidote in different poisoning, you can get this question in the further exams. Paracetamol, it's a N acetyl system. Methanol, it's a ethanol and fomipazole, very important antidote. Carbon monoxide, it's oxygen. Benzodiazepine, it's a flumazenil. Opiate, it's a naloxone. Organophosphate, it is atropine and we can use the oxymes also. It is atropine and we can use the oxymes also. Now, cyanide, we use a triple antidote. That's amyl nitrate, sodium nitrate, and sodium thiosulfate. But you can get a question. The best antidote of cyanide is vitamin B12. Thallium, the antidote is Prussian blue. And meth hemoglobinemia, that's a methylene blue. So, this was the first question. So, you can see, this is, this is the first question. It's a blue vitriol, copper sulfate. And copper sulfate is an antidote of phosphorus poison. Now, the second question is regarding the blast injury, primary, secondary, tertiary. The question was asked, the martial triad of abrasion, bruise and punctate laceration is seen in which of the bomb blast injury, whether it's a primary, secondary or tertiary. Now, first I am coming to the answer. It's a secondary blast injury and I discussed in the classes as a detail. The primary blast injury, yes, my dear friend, it is due to blast wave. The mechanism is air compression or shock wave. Here, the most common affected or the first to be affected is tympanic membrane. The secondary blast is because of flying missiles hitting your body. That will create the martial triad. The tertiary blast is you are lifted and you are hitting the ground. You are lifted and hitting the ground is a tertiary blast. And quaternary blast is building collapse, burn and flame injury. You can write down it's a quaternary blast. So definitely the question was asked about the flying missiles or flying object hitting your body. So if flying missiles or flying object is hitting your body, that is martial triad. There will be bruises, abrasion and punctate laceration. This will be a secondary blast injury. This will be a secondary blast injury. So question was asked. Yes, you can see the martial triad or if it is given abrasion, bruise and punctate laceration comes under which blast injury? The answer is secondary blast injury the answer is secondary blast injury so air compression primary blast like the flying missile hitting your body secondary blast that will produce martial triad and you are lifted and hitting the ground tertiary blast and the burn flame and building collapses produces quaternary blast injury now sir a patient was brought to emergency with consuming a unknown poisonous substance and there was shock pulmonary edema but i am coming to this particular word Silver nitrate breath test is positive. My dear friend, if silver nitrate breath test is positive, this is aluminium phosphide that is a cell force. So it is a cell force. And the question is asked, which of the following drug is used to treat this condition? And we all know, we are coming to this explanation. There is no specific antidote of cell force. But friends, in cell force, like there is a hypomagnesemia that is leading cardiac arrhythmia. So that is the reason we are giving magnesium sulfate to counteract cardiac arrhythmia. Or you can see the counteracting the hypomagnesemia. So here answer is magnesium sulfate to counteract hypomagnesemia. And you can see 
the activated charcoal and liquid paraffin are also given. So to counteract uh, hypomagnesemia, we are giving magnesium sulfate to counteract the cardiac arrhythmia. So this is a very, very simple basic question. The answer is magnesium sulfate. It's a self first poisoning and you can get this question also in exam. The silver nitrate breath test is done in sulfos, the sulfos insecticide poisoning. So anyways, my dear friend, this was a three question. Like I have seen like three question from forensic medicine and, and uh, the least question I have seen in any INACT exam, that at least you get 10 to 12 question in your exam. So anyways, and uh, go through these questions. Good luck. Goodbye. Thank you very much.